At this point, I'm convinced I'm clinically insane. Or really just hate myself. Welcome, everybody, to Cheap House, another Minecraft horror map. It is beginning to get dark here uh, near me, so the mood is being set perfectly. God, why do I keep doing this to myself? Wow. Top tier music. Unfortunately, we're just gonna crank it down just a hair. Doesn't look like it did much. Let's go. New game. God help us all. Isn't this great? Just having a great time. Aren't you happy? Oh, let me just. Hello. So about that house, you still selling it? And why so cheap? Yes, yes, I am still selling that house. Selling it cheap because I really need money now. Oh, by the way, do not forget to take the flashlight with you. There is no electricity. And this is another reason why it's cheap. That's okay, the... I will be there soon. Just need to find my glow stick. That's the entire plot of Amityville, or how Amityville got started. They, uh, the family that moved in there, they bought it because it was so cheap because they didn't know the people had died in it. Holy crap, I'm playing the Amityville Horror. As a Minecraft map. Isn't that great? What am I looking for? Looking for stuff, possibly things. Hey, anybody needs a voice actor for a Minecraft map, please look me up. I'm completely free. I have no self-respect for myself. And I'll make a great product. I can hit people with sultry tones if I need to. I've even got my DJ voice. That's obviously not my DJ voice. I legitimately have a DJ voice. I got a handwritten note from the president of our, the company that I work for after I did announcements at a, at a company picnic commending me for my fantastic, uh, fantastic DJ voice. What am I looking for? A glow stick. Won't take a washing machine. Oh, interesting. Cleaning fish? He's a fisherman. Respectable. Cardboard boxes. Notes. Very good. Kitchen fittings. I should take glow sticks with me. Right. Right. Glow sticks. If I were a glow stick... I didn't, I honestly didn't notice like the inspect text before. Uh, glow stick, glow stick, glow stick. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click on everything. Let's just click on everything. We can't miss if we don't, if we click on everything. Uh, notes on walls, that's not slightly sketchy at all. Oh. Oh no. I'm going to have to do combat. Oh, that's kind of cool. The lamp there. Mad respect, mad respect. Oop. I have already failed to find glow sticks. Hot damn. I wonder how glow stick technology works in whatever era this is. Oh. LGSC Team presents. Whoa, that perspective shift. Okay, I'm near the house. The path should let me 
Sadly, there's no road for any vehicles, but this house is isolated from the rest of the world exactly what I wanted. Sir, have you never seen the plot to any horror movie ever? My brother in Christ. This is a bad idea. I hope you die. We're functioning on horror movie logic. If I turn around and there's a camera crew following me, I'm gonna be pissed. Long path. Why is he... So I'm in the middle of nowhere. This, this, this house is in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. And he doesn't have a path paved for your car. Charge. Damn. That is quite the house. That's a really cool house. Ah, so you arrived. Ah, we've been waiting for you for so long and through you changed your mind. Well, glad you did not. And stop looking on me like I am the creepy guy. Sorry. I really need the money. And as you can see, the house is closed, the gate is jammed. I hope this does not scare you away. How old is that house? This house is older than me, that's for sure. Besides that, I don't really know, sorry. But hey, this is another reason why it's cheap. So, how do I get inside then? Go around the fence from the right side. From there you can get inside the house. The locks have long been rusted and broken, so you'll need to replace them. Very good. As a homeowner, this like ticks everything wrong with a house. Never buy, never buy cheap. Well, what you're supposed to do is buy the crappiest house in the best neighborhood. Uh, well, anyways. We're not here for financial and life advice. <laughs> the small shed's in a deplorable state. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, clothes gotta find another way. Hmm. I thought I heard something following me. Oh, I'm walking on different materials. Okay. I'm already freaking myself out and I'm not even in the house. Is the guy gone? Nope, he's still there. The bell is placed too high. That is strange. Ugh. Okay, we're not going in yet. Set on the right side of the house. Oh. That's not too bad looking. Oh. Well, this isn't so bad. I just know a jump scare is coming. And I don't know if I'm mentally and emotionally prepared for this. Back away from the... The music stopped. Hmm. It's kind of odd. All the... All the sound effects just stopped. I don't like the armor stands being here. I don't like any of this.
I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps. Robin, I don't think I want the house anymore. I don't care how cheap it is. I am resigned to my quiet existence, never having purchased this. Neat. Uh. Nope, can't open the doors. Where might one find the basement? I need to place it on a... Oh, God, it's a one-way trip. Umbra? Basement is in very poor condition. Okay! Okay, we're leaving. We are getting the... I don't like this. Holy shit! I don't know if I want to leave. <laughs> what the? F oh, God. What the hell? Holy crap. So, Monster in the Basement, I see why you got this at a deal, man. You can survive the basement. House is super awesome. Hey, on the bright side, it comes with a roommate! What in God's name? 21. Yeah, hey, the house comes with a roommate. You know, he doesn't pay rent or anything. He just takes an arm and a leg. He costs an arm and a leg. I just missed out on a perfectly good joke there. Hello, and Hi. welcome to the Umbra Corporation, patient number 22. My name is Dr. Joseph. Uh -huh. I am director of Umbra Corporation, and you, the guy with no luck. Uh -huh. We know where you lived. We okay. tracked you down. Oh. It was easy. Yeah. And now you are property of Umbra Corporation. Very good. Go to hell. Let me out. Yeah. Relax. Breath slowly. <gasps> Everything is okay. <laughs> Nobody from your family will get hurt, because they are all already dead. Unlike you, we will fix that as soon as possible with my newest invention. Cool. Looks like we have to take our time with experiments. Do me a favor and stay here. Fuck you, doctor. <sighs> and with that, Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.